Hey everybody, welcome in. In this video, I am going to be creating the positioning spacer using AutoCAD. And I have AutoCAD version 2024. So I've already got my layer set up to where I'm on my object layer. It's red. Um, I, I'm in decimal units and also, I also have my object snap. So the ones that I wanna share, the ones that I have turned on with you all. So I have endpoints turned on, center, quadrant, intersection, tangent. I think you're gonna need those for this one. We may need to turn some on and off later on, but um, those are the ones I'm gonna use for now. So the key to creating this positioning spacer is you want to locate those three circles, get the right size and location first. And then once you have that, I think the rest is, is you know not too challenging. But the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna locate the bottom circle so I'm given the diameter of that circle is 1.25. So I'm gonna go up to circle, center diameter, and just anywhere in here, I'm just gonna left click and drag this out. So this has a diameter of 1.25. And to locate the other two circles, what I'm gonna do is I am going to draw a circle with a radius. And I'm gonna set my center is gonna be the center. Center is this circle here, and that has a radius of six. And then what I want to do is I'm going to draw a line from the center of this circle up to the quadrant. So you can see where my little diamond shape pops in. So I'm just really that's just really a construction line. So then what I want to do is I'm gonna go down to where you see the um, polar tracking. And I'm gonna select a little arrow to the right of that. So I have the 15, 30, 45, 60. I have that one checked. So that's gonna help me kind of figure out where these, the centers of these other two circles are gonna be. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to line and I'm gonna start the center here and I'm gonna drag it up. I'm not gonna click anything, but I'm gonna notice where that little green laser beam or those dash lines point out. So if I move it over, that's 15 degrees, that's 30 degrees. So I'm gonna draw a line at the end of that 30 degrees, even though it says 60 there. It's 30 from the other way, the other direction. So I'm gonna click that, hit escape. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna draw a line from the center. I'm gonna go up. So this time I'm gonna, I need to move this over 45 degrees. So that's 15, that's 30. That's 45, so right there is where you see 135 degrees. That's measuring from here all the way around 135. So I'm gonna select or draw my line there, hit escape. So those the ends of those lines tell me where the, the centers of the other two circles are gonna be located. So I'm gonna go to circle, and these are gonna have a diameter of one. So from here, I'm gonna have this type in one. I'm gonna go circle, center diameter at the end of this line, type in one. So now we have all, we have our three circles located. So now we can take a little breath there, like, okay, now we're, we're cooking. So now I know that these outer circles have a radius of 1.25 on each one of these three circles. So I'm gonna go to circle radius and my center point is gonna be here for this one. The radius is 1.25. I'm gonna do the same thing for all of these. So center radius 1.25. Center radius, 1.25. All right, so there's that. Okay, so I don't think I need some items here. So I'm gonna erase, I'm just gonna go to my eraser here. I'm gonna erase this. I'm gonna erase these. I don't think I need these anymore. This might come back to bite me, but I'm just gonna erase those items. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to draw a line. 
and I'm going to type in, so I'm going to type in TAN for tangent. So I'm going to draw a line just somewhere on the circle here. And I'm going to type in TAN, press enter for tangent again, and connect it to this circle. Hit escape. And then what I want to do is I'm going to draw a circle radius from the center here. That's going to be tangent to that. So make sure it snaps onto there. And so I need this arc right here. So I am going to trim TR for trim this part of the circle. So I have that much. Um, let's see, what can I do? Okay, and now what I want to do is I'm going to draw a circle with the tangent, tangent radius option. So it's going to be tangent from this circle to this circle. And then the radius is going to be 2.5. Hit escape. I can TR for trim this part out. All right, now what I want to do is offset by 0.75. So I'm going to offset. My distance is going to be 0 0.75. I'm going to offset this down, this one to the left, this one to the right. Hit escape. And so now I just need to do some trims and some fillets. So I am going to TR for trim. I get rid of that. So this goes all the way around. I don't need these items here. I don't need that or that or that or that. This comes all the way around. All right, so there's that. Now I just need to fill it. So it says rounds and fillets are have a radius of 0.5. So I'm gonna go up to my fillet tool. And for radius, I'm gonna click on the radius. That's gonna be 0.5. Press enter. And now I'm just gonna click these to radius this. I'm gonna hit enter. Hit enter again. Enter again. I could have did multiple radius, but we'll do it the old fashioned way. This one and then this one. Hit escape. So there is our completed positioning spacer. So just make sure you save that. I'm gonna go to file, or I keep saying file. I'm gonna go up to the big red A, hit save. And I'm gonna call this in all caps, positioning, it helps me spell it right, positioning spacer. Hit save. And there we go. All right, so I hope that helped. And I uh, hope to see you all back in the next lesson. Make sure you like and subscribe. Tell all your friends like and subscribe as well. It helps me out. All right, peace out.